Hello everybody, welcome to Toys That Evil's What's In The Box. Uh, today, in this Instagram live that we eventually go to Reels, is I'll be looking at two boxes. Two boxes and what's inside of them. I know for a fact what's inside of them is not what you see on the outside, but that's the... That's the aim of this unboxing, uh, so-called unboxing, because I, I'm, I have uh, recycled the boxes to be used to house other toys. But I recently have been excavating my collection, and yeah, I thought to share this with you folks. Let me look at this box first. I'll put this aside. So this is from Dragon Models. Both of them are from Dragon Models. One six scale action figures. This is Danny, World War Two Normandy. I I have constantly said, and I've said this many a times, but today looking at these two boxes, and a few other boxes that I see, I also recognize. I used to say I don't collect military, I don't necessarily collect law enforcement, but I a while back I pulled back, and 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 and. Pull back my words. I do collect military. Uh, sorry, law enforcement, but I felt I wasn't actively collecting military. But with these two boxes, I'm sure they came from somewhere, lah. I don't think I bought the box just for the box itself, and I'm sure I bought them for pieces that I want to keep bash and do whatnot. But yeah, I collect military. I used to anyway. So let's have a look at the box first, lah. Dragon models, two thousand and one. Illustrations, I love it. I mean, I to be very frank, all of these in the past, right? I it might not be actively interested in what I collected, or rather, to find out more than I do now. So, I appreciated that even illustrator, the person who illustrated this, also is credited on the box. So, Danny, Sergeant Man, World War II figure, this is the box. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I realized I didn't notice all this because these are the details of what the items are and the name and the description. This is a whole lot of text, man. Which back in the day when I bought this, I had no interest to read, but now it's worthwhile reading, lah. Or at least if I, if I, uh, for anybody, not say me, for anybody that's interested to find out more about what they are collecting, this is perfect, lah. I mean, stories. I mean, I appreciate a good story. Or even this context history. Dragon Models. I just went to dragonmodels.com and checked it out. They're still active. The details are not as crisp and clear. But they have a back catalog, which, which is cool. So I'm taking a lot of the visuals uh, to use for description in my subsequent posts for what's in the box on Black on Toys Are Evil blog. Okay, la, see the box already. La. And I can tell you right now. No, I don't know. Let me see what's inside. I had a glance before. Nice. So obviously. No, I can't say obviously. That's not fair to say. Uh, until I take a closer look. I got two figures, a house there. This is the original gear. Still inside. Oh, good heavens. Nice. Still, I can't say maintenance. Mint in box, but the box is not, it's hardly mint, but close enough lah, clean lah, clean, nice, ooh, no boots, I think this is a BBI figure, let me see inside, nice zip one, nearly pulled it apart, I thought it was like Velcro, that's why I appreciated um, even costumes in the past, you can check out the zips, Miniature zip. What body is this? Uh? I'm sure this is BBI. Yeah, it's BBI body. So, obviously, I was mixing and matching figures and heads to create teams. It's obviously, I was trying to create a team. Oh my gosh. I could create three men. I mean, I, I used to say I do two man teams. I mean, that's like I very seldom or rather do not like just a one man character uh, minimum two men one stand one prone you know or one kneel so at least there's variety so obviously from here i was trying to create a three man team wow not not you know not like a proper squad or team but yeah 
can see I was trying to create and I didn't put the boots on so this is the other dude I don't recognize this for my for my toy brethren they probably would recognize who these characters are I don't I don't I know some not all is this BBI as well I mean after all I need to recognize the body nah this is a dragon model Adam body so this is a dragon model uh, uh, body and yeah I got I have a thing for gloves man yeah. I really love gloves so this is pretty awesome I have to admit look at the, the tailoring this is 2000 and 2001 20, 22 days 22 years 22 years ago details are amazing the tailoring is wonderful for let's say uh, this is pre hot toys uh, I mean pre licensed hot toys so it's dragon models were it lah they were it they were the good stuff well the shades are different so now I wonder are they in the same same release even the cutting is a slightly different you can see the the material I mean the style looks the same but the obvious colorway is different maybe it's different different better fuse because obviously I am not well educated in the uh, this genre hmm. okay this belt is missing oh god rank sergeant okay I didn't notice the rank so probably it's different the insignia is different there's no ranking for this dude then to me uh, without the odd accuracy in terms of uh, authentication that the knowledge I'm totally lacking in but on a very surface generic level I know I am able to keep best three different characters of different ranks huh? oh, that's cool this is very heavily weathered though yeah if we can't figure this out is this BBI body this might be a BBI nah I have no clue I'm grabbing at straws man Grabbing at straws. Weird. It's different because the zip stops here and below here are buttons, clip buttons. Whereas for this dude, sorry I'm investigating. I'm not telling you why it is. Yeah, the, the buttons are different as well. So probably a different make. Can you see this plastic clasp button versus metal ish clasp so wow now I have three different makes wow no no logo okay 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 that's nah Falcro nah that's no yeah I'm no clue bro no clue boots they come with the figures. I mean, the the in this context, when I collect figures like this, I'm not bound by accuracy. So a lot of my friends would, would slam me. A lot of other collectors might say, "Why well, you just collect stuff you don't know about. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Well, that's what I did. And yeah, I have no uh, issues of uh, mix and matching. Yes, I might mix up my genres and material make. I think maybe to me that's the beauty of keep bashing on that I'm not bound by uh, accuracy <laughs> does that make sense well at least for me that makes my collecting journey that much fun lah. okay different shoes different material shoes you can see nice with a strap so even if this is uh, molded the strap is like legit cloth strap nice fun oh we said there's only one helmet so out of these three uniforms I have only one helmet and just I think this is BBI because BBI is known to have very um, um, that what I remembered very detailed accessories and pieces and they spent as much time on the inside 
as much as I do the outside aesthetic. So this is pretty rock and roll, man. Ooh, this is nice. I mean, as much I can as I can show on the camera, lah. So one helmet, three uniforms, two pairs of boots. So yeah, or maybe I've been collecting pieces to. Uh, I I can't remember. That's why I'm all guessing. Maybe I'm just collecting pieces to form a team. Yet so much for I don't collect military. Bits and pieces. This I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this was a, a BBI. Oh, dragon. My gut reaction is it's BBI. Yeah, we'll have a look at the gun. How much detail it is. Pretty snazzy. Sorry to say, bro. I don't think this is uh, Dragon Models, man. Anybody who knows, please feel free to leave a comment. Or even... Uh, Leave a comment when this goes to my reels, lah. I mean, it's, it's to it is not me showing off my knowledge of these toys because obviously I don't have knowledge of this. It's uh sharing the joy of toys, sharing the toy joy, and uh, if this leads to conversations and, and a renewed interest into yeah. Nice. Oh, the shovel and the. Bottle. Let's have a closer look, uh, Since we're here, anyway, I just uh, attached on the power bank. Yes, my phone is dying. This is not a very detailed shovel. Plain, straight up, molded. Hmm. So it makes me wonder. Makes me wonder. Or oh, it could be well be the part of this uh, dragon model. It's a figure set. Molded as well, a bit of metal. You can open up. No, I'm not gonna open up. Yeah, open up lah. Might as well lah. You can open up. As long as you don't break it, I can pull out the water bottle as well. I mean, that's the thrill lah. Come on, that's the thrill of uh, existing. Uh, even though it's like if you display it, you're not gonna constantly take it, open it up, and and taking it out. But the feeling that you are able to do that makes the experience of uh, looking at your collection a whole lot more than you like to think it does at least for me nice oof I mean at this point I'm so fearful to break anything it's been quite a while since I have this I don't want anything to melt into the now into the pieces. Oh man, I can't take this out. Okay, can, can. Can I take out the magazine? Yes, I can. Quite scary, lah. How can not? How can someone not like this? You take out the fake magazine. They still have the bu the the bullet painted. Oh gosh! Again, like I said, even with this, the knowledge of this. Uh, function existing when you put it into the figure it goes into the holster it becomes a part of the figure the, the figure doesn't even hold the gun but the thrill is there lah. you know you can open up the gun or rather you can take the magazine out of the gun Ta-da! gosh I'm just making myself get excited over these toys all over again the dog tag Nice. Let's check it out, man. The dog tag, two pieces, and how detailed it is when you have print engraving. Let me see if we can capture it. Can. Oh, good heavens. Spam egg. <laughs> okay, back into the bag before it gets lost again. So, in the past, in the past, um, this might be, I, I have no, I have no doubts if this was sold as a loose set. A lot of times, uh, the whole figure, back in the days, um, or rather in Singapore, anyways, um, the retailers might sell the entire box, yes, but they might also take apart the pieces. 
what we call tia, Hokkien for taking apart, and sell the pieces in a bag like this, in a baggie like this. So great for folks who want to create teams. So make sense? Want to create teams? So even in a bundle like this, uh, uh, this is my uh, my limited knowledge of it. It's like you look at this bundle. You know you want the gun, main weapon, the primary. You you want the holstered gun. You might not necessarily want the water bottle because that's few and far in between, and you don't need the spade lah. The shovel, the shovel, spade, spade, shovel, whatever that is. So in the end, they will package it like that because they can sell the shovel. But you know, people want this or they want this, so they will have have to buy the pack that includes this to own this. So for uh, a lot of collectors that I know of, let's say they buy a pack and they get rid of these lah somehow. Does it make sense? <laughs> and this was back in the day. Too bad. Will I ever complete these two figures? I seriously doubt so. I mean, they are not my main uh, uh, interest right now. So if anybody's interested to take these off my hands or even just the clothes, hit me up. At the same time, if ever I continue or return to this hobby, I more likely will take the figures out to use for other kit bash and I'll just sell the clothes. Huh? But then again, who knows? Interest might come in and I just want to complete my three man team. Okay, that's for Danny. Danny is done. Let's put Danny aside. Normandy, 1944. Make space for Mark. Northeast Europe, 1944-45. Let me put this aside, take a break. Let's have a look at the box. Again, this is the uh, the style of box back in the day. New body inside. I love it that they try to like uh, upgrade. <laughs> Michael Weave, yeah, close enough, man, bro. Dragon models. Cannot de deny Dragon models. Huh? Cannot deny. Again, story. Stories that can tell more. Oh, okay. Entrenching tool. Battle dress jacket. Let me see what's the other. Maybe this says more. Dispatch. Oh, it's a. Uh, M I A I carbine. So maybe the the weapon that we saw just now is a part of this set. Yeah. Scabbard. Scabbard is still here. Yeah. So for investigations of what I do not know. Anyway, coming back to this figure. Nice. Illustration by Rond. Volstad. Cool that they give a credit as well. This is 2002. Ah, so that was a previous release. This is a release a year later. I have a glance inside this box. And I can tell you right now, even before I open it, it has nothing to do with the outside cover. But I'm interested now in why I talk about two boxes. Because they tie to my previous unboxing. Ta-da! I take the one that's pieces lah. That's all lah. Gosh. So this is a medicom toy body. RAH, real action hero. I mean cool that they give a pair of boxes lah. But dude, I don't know what happened to the rest of the body. Ah oh, gosh. Anyway. In the past, when I say the past, I, I have wanted to talk about um figures actually. Uh, base figures for people to recognize. But I, I don't know if these... I, I've not been actively looking at toys, the one six scale toys in uh, recent years. So, But I assume that they are still circulating in the market. But uh, this is the RAH toy, which is interesting because I, I like the context of even the... I don't know what I call it. Where you can bend the leg. Makes sense, right? But if you're wearing a pair of uh, pants, right? You can't really, you might have to really squeeze. Uh, but you can bend the leg. Whereas all the other figures might just bend like this. But you can bend it like this. And I think that is cool. This is quite sturdy. I remember it to be. And even here, the shoulder joints, you can cross your arms. 
great for posing with weapons. Again, all of these are underneath clothes, so great for posing. And, and for, for years, I was thinking, why is the neck so unproportioned? But when you put on clothes, when you put on gear, it looks proportioned. So it's not as realistic uh, anatomically as people would want them to be. But even so, like this, even if I want to keep back into a modern cyborg, it really has the grooves in. I just need to paint and give, uh, let's say, off-shoulder bionic or mecha arms. And this is a great body for customization. Uh. Wow, I'm, I'm excited. Wow, there are a lot of gaps. So this is housed with a lot of screws. Interesting. You can take apart and you can repair them. Hmm. I'll investigate later if I, I mean, if I intend to carry on with this series. Uh. Then, because then I, I discovered this too in the box. And uh, if you look at back at my previous, a couple of days ago, Star Runner uh, unboxing. And now this, this more likely would be the two Star Runner figures. I, I, I have no idea of the movie itself. But as I said again in my Toys R Evil blog post, I was actively looking for Asian head sculpts. And from, from different brands would, would be helpful. So this is like kickboxing. Nice. Even the body shapes, I mean the body form beneath is different as well. So this is cool. Oh man, I don't, I don't think they have actual hands. So it's glove boxes. And I don't think it came with uh, spare hands to change. So it's a bit of a waste. This is also molded in. Um, Muay Thai shorts underneath. Cool, kickboxing. Cool lah. I mean, oh nice, with a drawstring. So if anybody wants to do like a kickboxing uh, uh, um, present or kick bash for their buddy, this is perfect lah. Nice, the jacket quality is double lining. Nice, I didn't notice. I mean, probably didn't notice then. Bought wantonly. Made in China. Fabric in China. Nice. Okay, double lining. This is very nice hoodie. Yeah. Decent, decent, well done. Not perfect, but okay. Even the hoodie is, has lining. Nice. I don't remember the character. This one I remember is Daniel, Daniel, no, not Daniel Lee. Vanessa Wu? I have no clue, man. I have no clue, bro. Yeah, the body. The shots underneath. KCBG. I think these were licensed, obviously. Loving the tattoo. I mean, I had a thing for tattoos on figures. Lah. Not on myself. That's another story to tell for another time. Oh, nice. The articulation. That's what I meant. Oh, can. Cannot, might not necessarily go full in. But can still fold. So this would be great for like a pose. Even a fake kneecap. Kickboxing pose. Haha. <laughs> nice. Uh, fortunately, the hands are also gloved hands. There are no changeable hands. So if ever I want to keep bash this into something else, I need to figure out how I need, can remove the head, head scalp, put on another body. It doesn't look that easy, man. Oh, it's like a whole thing in is entire head that goes in. No, I'm not going to try and pop it. So maybe there's still value for this figure. So yeah, nice. Nice, nice find. I have no recollection of buying these. So it's obviously wantonly buying and uh, my my focus then, like I said, I just wanted Asian head sculpts for both guys and girls. This is not Asian head sculpt. GSG9? Uh, no idea. Probably. Probably. So yeah, let's put this back. Until one, one fine day, I can recategorize them properly in another box. And they'll just remain in a box, like this. And this. So that's it. I have completed my two boxes unboxing for today's What's in a Box. 
um, feel free to leave any comments on this live before I end this live and have this video on to my reels so pause a little bit see if there's any comments let me check wave hi to everyone I have to, I have to verbally say it does that make sense <laughs> I don't know when I see the wave icon from folks I don't know is uh, I, I, I'm not taken part in any live besides uh, filming myself so I don't know doesn't mean you need to click on to something that it shows you waving or when you log on automatically it shows we uh, wave no clue I'm not making sense am I am I okay then I will end my live thank you all for tuning in and I'll check back again and if I can, I'll do a daily uh, live on unboxings until I finish. I don't have that much boxes. <laughs> but I'll show as much as I can. Uh, one of the main reasons is because I'm also repacking them. And once they go into storage, I will not be able to reach them again. So I'll, I'll unbox them, show you folks. If anybody's interested in anything they see, keep in contact, get in contact with me, DM me and find out. Uh, if there's anything that you want uh, if not yeah they'll just go back they go into storage and disappear in my hoard for the next few years to come nevertheless thank you for watching see you again soon bye bye